Hey, this is uh, Daniel with uh, radish and turnips. And this is the winter in Alabama, isn't that nice? And I'm here with my neighbor, Madeline. She's one, and her husband, George, who have encouraged me to start Theology of the Table one day, like it was around six years ago. Yeah. A and so uh, now we are neighbor, we have always been neighbors, and I'm leaving for Los Angeles for two months almost. So, uh, so I'm leaving to Madeline, the garden. And look, I am, <laughs> so I'm about to give her, I give her already the radishes, the turnips. Look at all the goodies we got. What do we have, Madeline? Uh, lettuce. A, a lettuce, beautiful, very important. Beautiful. Madeline tender, loves the lettuce. Tender lettuce. The and the radishes, radishes, of course. And, and, and what's that? Cabbage. Cabbage. We have a long, long line of cabbage here. Look at them. So cute. That's why they are called monchou. We say monchou in French for honey. They are so cute, I think. And we have mustard. That's really tough, mustard. But if you boil them, it's okay. You said, what the, how are you going to with cook bacon? them? Mm. With bacon? Would be, would good, give a good flavor. Oh yeah, and the fat, I think, of the bacon kind of make the, the sourness, bitterness of the mustard. Weighten it up? Yeah, I think so, huh? Maybe some onion? Yeah, also. Mm -hmm. Madeline is a good, good cook. And uh, we have also, what did we get? And the tur turnips, Madeline was asking me, where, what do you do with the turnips? I know, what yeah, do we I do? I haven't but done much with turnips, but I'll learn. So and my mother soups. was always putting in a soup two or three turnips. The potatoes? And, yeah, oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. Beef and yeah, the basic potatoes, uh, carrots. Uh, we had leeks, onions and potatoes. Yeah. But the turnips, I mean, it's too bitter if you put five of them in a soup. But two or three is good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Carrots. This is it. This is like the harvest uh, in the winter of Alabama. Bye. So grow your garden. <laughs>